So as far as transportation goes, um, I'd say most people, most missionaries are going to be on bikes. Um, of course, unless you're a sister missionary, sister missionaries get cars. Um, and then as far as elders, if your area is small enough, you'll get a bike. And if it's large enough, you'll get a car. Um, it's kind of up to the mission president whether you get a car or whether you get a bike, depending on you know how large your area is. Um, I think actually my mission was kind of half bike half car. The summers get really hot, um, especially if you're biking. Uh, I remember my second summer I was in Vegas and I was biking in 100, 115 degree weather and it's not really fun. But I mean a lot of the appointments that you go to they'll always, you know, if you look like you're sweating and you know you're panting and everything they'll offer you water. Um, and it actually got to the point one time where uh, members would offer me soda uh, because you know Spanish people think that sell soda is like this delicacy that you know American people love soda uh, which for the most part they do I just kinda wanted to um, not drink soda so much in one day or in one week and so a lot of times I'd be like oh no I just want water but with them offering me soda so much I kind of boycotted soda altogether and so now whenever I eat out at restaurants I don't even get soda anymore I just get water because of you know how much I was offered soda from you know biking in the heat when it rains in Las Vegas it gets really bad because like it floods like you know 6 to 12 inches because there's no sewers um, which is kind of similar to like some other places on the west coast how um, you know on the streets you're not going to have drainage systems every you know 50 feet like they do where I'm from in Maryland and so the sidewalks will get flooded the roads will get flooded um, but that only happened a couple times so be ready <laughs> so for the elders it was just um, it was just apartments um, I remember a couple times we lived in member housing um, one of them was in the mesquite zone um, we lived in a member's basement, which was actually really nice. Like, if someone told you that it was a basement, you would have been, like, shocked because it had, like, like, I, I can't even describe, like, how nice it was. It just had, like, um, it just had, like, couches and, you know, fridge, you know, stove. Uh, the bathroom had two shower heads and it was just, like, super fancy and there were, like, two bedrooms and stuff, but... Anyway, and there was also one uh, apartment that I lived in, uh, and it was a double wide trailer, and that was also really nice. Um, it was owned by a member, and so the member owned this trailer that we lived in, um, and it was actually like double wides are bigger than you would think, and so for four people it was just really homey, really nice. I can't say that about all the apartments in Las Vegas. Um, because some of the apartments in Las Vegas are just kind of like worn down, like, you know, they've been missionary apartments for 15, 20 years. Um, but I did kind of notice like a generalization of how like apartments inside Las Vegas were, you know, not so nice. And then apartments outside, um, you know, in out of valley zones were a little bit nicer. 